gotten used to seeing the juggernaut always find a way in fights when his back might have been up against the wall. Was it a surprise to you that tonight just seemed to be a step too far? No. Um, when this fight got announced, I said, why? Like, that's, that was my first thing. Why, why him? Why that guy? Because um, in my opinion, there was no massive reward for, some, for beating someone like that. And he's a dangerous opponent. Um, I think sometimes people underestimate him because maybe in past fights he was very... He got tired after four or five rounds. Um, but he can hit. And again, he's a southpaw. We haven't seen Joe Joyce in, 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 there, in there with a good southpaw. So at this stage, I just thought... If it was early in his career, yeah. Earlier in his career, yeah. But when you're in that line that, of being in that mix, I just thought, mm, why? Because I, like, I want Joe Joyce to blossom and get what he deserves. And Big facts. <laughs> when this fight got announced, I said, why? Oh my god, stop it people. What's good family, it's your man the YB, back once again with no voice, gurgling voice, Dalek voice, <laughs> peak right now. Anyway, listen, we just heard there from Anthony Hardy. My doggy with the dark shades on. Um, obviously there's been some people in the comments saying, oh YB... It wasn't a big scam and whatever else. Listen, man. Yard said it best. Listen, when Yard's got punched up, yeah? When Yard's been toting the Team Lighty flag against Kovalev, against Paterbiev, big fights, yeah? As in world championship fights. Zhang, ain't gonna lie to you. I thought Joe Joyce couldn't do him. But still, there's a reason, yeah? I didn't put no money on Joe. I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere. I put, what was it? I put way too much money on Dubois to beat Lorena. So lucky on that one. But um, but yeah, I put, the point I'm making is, if I if I think our favourites are definitely going to win, for example, I think on, on on a certain side, Fury versus Chisora, the odds were to pay you 10% back for Fury to win. I went big on that one. Free money. It worked out. I went big on Dubois to beat Lorena. It worked out. Anyway, the, what I'm getting at is, I didn't put no money on Joe Joyce to beat Zhang. Why? I thought the odds were wrong. I thought that Zhang was, I thought this fight was 70 30 to Joe. It was priced as a 90 10 fight for Joe, which is orders of magnitude, two, or, two orders of magnitude out of the way. From what I thought was reality. As it happens, the fight looked like it was 70 30 for Zhang. Where am I going with this? Well, like Yard said, not me. Yard as well. It's interesting. He's promoted by Frank Warren. So he's got every incentive not to be saying why. Yeah? Yard could have come on here. I mean, Yard wasn't thinking about it too deeply yet, but more time he could have come on here and said, Pull the party line. Oh, listen, man. It's boxing. Anything can happen in boxing. That's how it goes sometimes. Joe took big risks and it didn't pay off this time, but it was it was the big, biggest fight at the time. Do you know what I mean? He could have come out shilling that whole Queensbury stick. He didn't. He said, listen, why, Frank? Why, Frank, did you advise this fight? And I've been telling Elijah, I've been telling Joe, he's been poorly advised his whole career. Oops. <laughs> I, I've done it again. They sent me... I've told Joe to his set to his to himself. F big facts. I said, Joe, you've been mismanaged. Yeah? Like Yard said. You've got a world championship shot. All you gotta do is sit down somewhere. You're thirty seven years old, like Yard said. You ain't twenty seven, where okay, took a risk and like Dubois. Dubois fighting Joyce, that was taking a risk. And look at Dubois now. He's in front of Yeah? In fact Dubois and that's why I say Please don't no one tell me about how Frank Warren isn't scamming Joe. Yeah, because Dubois is exactly what I'm getting at now. Why is it Frank Warren? You don't see Frank Warren, yeah? Bearing in mind, Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois are in the same position. Dubois is WBA interim or mandatory. Joe was WBO mandatory. They're the same position. The question is, why... Is Frank Warren putting Dubois in there with Lorena, who he nearly got, who he got punched up by, bust twist his knee up, yeah? Why is Frank Warren putting doing one thing with one fighter? Oh yeah, Dubois, fight, fight Trevor Bryan, bum, complete bum, yeah. Oh, fight Lorena, complete bum, cruiserweight bum at that. 
And he knocked him out of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Why is it the Bois getting all the cream puffs? And Joyce is getting Zhang, the man who popped Hergovic's cherry for him. Why is that? That's the question. It's not like, well, why be? You know, the fight was in China and Joe made. I don't know how much Joe made, but listen, if I mean, there's no such thing as bad money in that sense. Like, if Joe got paid a million, then, you know, you know what I mean? From my point of view, <laughs> from my point of view, all money is good money, whether you get punched up or not. But I don't know how much he got paid. Yeah, if Joe, I don't know, again, I'm speculating. If Joe got paid 200 grand for that fight, or 300 grand for that fight, money that's good, yeah, but not going to change your life. Especially with taxes, to be honest with you. Even if Joe made a million, the government, the government's taking half. So really, to, for me to justify this fight, yeah, Joe would have to be getting paid about 2 mil. From what I understand, the Parker fight, which was huge, I think Joe made about one and a bit for that. I don't know, I'm speculating. So again, this fight wanted, it wasn't even a big money fight. It was a hard, I said this from the start, this is a hard industry fight. And I was bigging Joe up on the basis that he was going to win, i.e. Joe's taking the risks, Joe's fighting the industry fights. That's all still true. The question is why? Why is Joe Joyce being advised to take hard industry fights when all he had to do, people, Tyson, do you know how many years Tyson Fury sat out and or fought bums? Tyson Fury is a champion fighting Chisora. If a, and again, who is Tyson Fury promoted by? Frank Warren. Why is Frank Warren advising Tyson Fury to fight Bumzora and Dubois to fight Lorena? But Joe Joyce, who doesn't have a bell, to fight the hard industry fights. Why is that? I don't get it. Now you could say why be it's, it's Joe's fault because listen, Joe's a boxer. It's not Joe's job. Joe, and that's the thing I don't like about people when they say, oh, yeah, but Joe wanted the biggest fights. Listen, man, Joe's job is to fight. Why is he paying Adam Morally? Why is he paying Fish Eyes Warren? Yeah, if it's Joe's job to think about what he has to do as well, he might as well sack Frank Warren, sack Morally, sack this jam or whoever, whoever of a bum. I mean, there's so many guys hanging around. Adam, the, the other management company and... You know what I mean, Frank? So people are hanging around you. Yeah. you got a question. Where's the value add here? Wait a minute, I'm paying this guy 10%. For what? I'm paying this guy 10% to get punched up. Not for a bell. Not for no money. And to lose my spot. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, what's that? What is Joe paying all these 10% for? I don't see the value add. I didn't see the value add when... Frank Warren. Sam Jones. Adam Morley, let the USIC WBO mandatory that was ordered, facts, February 2021, go and look it up, Joe Joyce ordered to fight USIC, USIC flapped it, oh, I'm only paying Joe 7%, that's just the fact, that's just what happened, people, yeah, next thing you know, it goes quiet for three months, no word from Sam Jones, no word from Morley, no word from Fish Eyes Warren, and then Usyk fighting AJ. No step aside for Joe. Where is the value add? Why be? But you thought he was going to beat Zhang. It's not the point. That's the. That's what. That's what you don't get, people. That's what Don King did well. Don King knew. Okay, I got Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? He. he I'm not saying he made every right decision yet, yeah, but it's not. What gets me is the differences here. Why is Frank Warren doing one thing with two fighters? And another thing with another. Your advice should be consistent. Frank Warren's advice for Dubois and Fury is to wait for the biggest fight. Joe jo Frank Warren and everyone else's advice for Joe Joyce. Yeah, go in there for a low reward fight. A hard industry fight. Big heavy man who popped Turgovich's cherry. Let's go and do that one. Who, who doing that? Who's even bringing that to the table? We have a WBO interim. WBO didn't order. In fact, I think Parker versus Joyce was ordered for the WBO interim. Meaning, Joe had dissatisfied that. Meaning, Joe could sit around for a whole year until October 2023 and the WBO can't say nothing. 
If there was ever a time for Joe Joyce to fight Lorena, or Trevor Bryan, or Chisora, it was now. Even Dillian White. That's what Frank Warren should have been on. And let's not forget, people, Joe Joyce has sat around for years in his career. It's not like he ain't used to sitting around. The one time to sit around, wait a minute, I've got a belt and a guaranteed shot. All I have to do is sit down. My man's been sitting down fighting Christian Hammer and fighting bums. You know what I mean? Tack Hammer and whoever else. Now he's got a belt, he wants to fight, take the risks. Don't make no sense. Don't make no sense, does it? Anyways, that's, Frank Warren's a scam. In my opinion, he's running a big scam. But it's done now. Frank Warren got what he wanted. Which he chose to lose. That's what he wanted, ultimately. And he's good and he's, he's done that. I told I've been saying for a while, I believe there's inside men on Joe's team. Because you can't be that stupid. Your name can't be Adam Morley, yeah? Oh, I'm a big lawyer, big city lawyer. Oh, I'm a big man, boxing management company. And making these choices, like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. And never mind my opinion. Yard, a Queensbury fighter, he can't understand it. And again, even with Yard. Yes, Yard took big risks with Frank. For belts. That's Frank's MO. Do nothing. Yard's done nothing. And then stepped up. Dubois has done nothing. Got punched up by Joyce. And now and now he's about to fight Usyk kind of thing. That's Frank Warren's MO. Do nothing. Fight bums. And then fight for a title. Same with Billy Joe. Billy Joe fought complete bums. And then would fight for a WBO bow bell. Against the bum. But Joe Joyce. Yeah. Take the hard industry fight for peanuts. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell. Big shout out to my doggy Sean Kelly for coming through and boosting the coins up on Chippers and Cuff. I'm no doubt about it.